Now, let's go over to Romans chapter 4. Yes. Romans chapter 4. Now, Brother John, you get ready here in a minute. I'm going to quit right now in about five minutes. Romans chapter 4. Verse 18, we'll start there. Who against hope? This is Abraham. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken. According to that which was spoken. God had spoke to him, told him. So shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not. Uh Uh-oh, uh-oh. He considered not. Uh Uh-oh. Now we have Thomas considering. If I can, if I can, then I will. If I can, then I will. He's considering. Now, Abraham says, according to the promise of God, I'm not considering the natural things. Now this is the real This is the real faith. He said, And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. What was the reality? His body now was dead. Not dead as it didn't cease to exist, but it wasn't functioning in that manner. It was dead. But according to the promise of God, Abraham considered not his own body. Now that's the real faith. He considered not. When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He had two things to overcome. So he's not considering that either. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. That's what unbelief, it caused you to stagger. Stagger. You ever seen anybody staggering about fall? That's what people do to God's Word. Oh, oh, I can't believe. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh, oh God, I can't. I can't, oh God, I can't believe that. You're staggering at the promises. Mm -hmm. I know he told me he'd he'd meet all my needs, but oh, but look at all this situation. Uh, See, you stagger. I can't believe God for staggering at the at the at the looking at what's in the natural. Bless. And and Abraham staggered not at the promise of God. That's right. He had to overcome these natural things, his own body now dead, he didn't even consider his body, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Now look at the difference. Thomas said, I will not believe unless I see. Well, I'm glad Abraham wasn't that way. What if Abraham said, well, I won't believe until I see. <laughs> How's he he going to overcome these difficulties, these things that are beyond the natural ability of a man and a woman? How in the world are you going to overcome something when you say, if now if I can see it, I will believe it? Well, that's contrary to everything that God is about. Contrary. So he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Amen. Amen. And and being fully persuaded. Listen, fully persuaded. That means he's fully persuaded. He knows that what God said, he's going to do it. Somebody says, but look at you, Abraham. He said, I'm not considering my body. Look at Look at Sarah. I'm not considering her body, but I'm considering what God said. And I'm not moved by what this circumstance is saying. I'm not moved by what Sarah looks like. And I'm not moved by what these things look like. But I'm standing on what God's promise said to me, and that settles this issue. Glory. Now, if you want to be healed and delivered, you start doing those things. We said, well, the doctor said, you know, that this thing is so and so and so. Well, he's not God, is he? We're not trying to take anything away from doctors, but he's not God, is he? 
Quit treating him like he is. Don't ever put him in the place of God. Don't ever put yourself without hope. Don't ever put yourself in the place where you're not believing and trusting God and have to take a man's word for the last word. Don't ever get down to that level. Ever. If you do, you'll die. You'll die before your time. You'll do without the blessing. If you do it, so we have to get to the place that we don't stagger at God's promise. Amen. What causes us to stagger? Unbelief. I choose not to believe. Oh, I don't believe that. You're staggering like a drunk man. Yes. Are you hearing? Yes. Are you hearing? Yes. So don't do that. The real faith. Don't stagger at the promises of God. He don't look at the natural circumstances. It's not based on them. It's based on what God said. And when, when God said something, that far supersedes the natural uh, that we live in here. Some people don't quite seem to get that. But let me tell you something. Natural people don't just appear either in a room with the doors closed. Ain't that right? Hallelujah. 